Hi, I'm Alana and welcome back to Yogi Yin. Thank you so much for joining us. Today I'm going to take you through a sequence of yoga for diabetes. Uh, one of my dear friends has just been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes actually and that's what prompted me to put this yoga sequence together. Yoga can be very, very good for diabetics because it not only lowers your blood sugar, but it actually lowers your blood pressure as well and reduces stress in your body, which of course can bring those two things right out of whack. Exercise actually has been known to help regulate insulin, so the poses we're going to be doing are quite dynamic, but they're also going to be geared towards reducing the stress in your body as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Namaste. We're going to step our feet out nice and wide. We're going to turn that left foot out and the back foot in just slightly to a triangle pose and then twist our hips to the center. Now if this doesn't work for you, because bear in mind these postures were made by thin-hipped Indian men. So if you need to move that foot just a little bit forward to make it easier for yourself so you're not straining that lower back. Ideally, you want your heel coming to the center of the back foot. If that doesn't work for you, that's fine. Inhale out from the heart to the fingertips. Nice straight line. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhaling and then exhaling, folding over. Placing your hand wherever you feel comfortable, but no weight in that hand. If you're a more experienced practitioner, you can bring your fingertips all the way down to the mat. Bring the other hand to the hip. And then turn the chest to look at the ceiling. It's really imperative, and a lot of yoga teachers actually miss this step. Turning that chest, raising the arms, spreading the fingers nice and wide. I'll come down lower so you can see my hand. Holding it here for a couple more deep breaths. Beautiful, and then inhale, raise the arm, exhale, turn to a down foot, and inhale, come all the way up to center. Swapping over to the other foot now, again, finding that alignment in your body, twisting the hips towards the center, it's really important. Again, adjust your foot if you need to. Inhale, arms nice and long, and then exhale, fold from your hips, place your hand wherever it's comfortable, Bring the other hand to your hip and open up your chest towards the ceiling. Raise your arm and again, I'll come down so you can see that hand. Spreading the fingers nice and wide. Turning the head to look at the ceiling. Holding it for another couple of deep breaths. And then inhale, reach up, exhale, look down at the foot, inhale, come all the way back to centre. Now when we're doing that, we're actually working into our liver and we're regulating our hormonal system, our endocrine system, of which the pancreas is a big part of that. What we want to do now is now twist our body and twists are very good for diabetes. So we're going to gently actually turn out both feet. So they're parallel, and I'm going to show you twisting triangle. So if you have any feet or knee issues, so ankle or knee, I want you to turn your feet out. Otherwise, make sure they're parallel with your mat, but that you're comfortable. And then when you're ready, inhale, stretch out your arms, and exhale, float down towards that right foot. Now again, you can hold just below the knee. You can put your hand to the inside of your foot, or to the outside, completely up to you. And then inhale, open up, look up towards the ceiling, and exhale, look back down at the foot. Inhale, so we're gonna practice this in a flowing motion. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, back to center. We're gonna do two more rounds. Inhaling, exhaling, Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, back to 
center another round. Exhale, flow with the pose. Inhale, open up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, flow to the other side. Inhale, open it up, stretch the fingers. Exhale, look down. Inhale, come all the way back to center. And then just release the arms and step the feet in. Release your body. Good. Body should be starting to feel nice and warmed up now. We're going to step those feet out once more again. We're going to come into a warrior pose. So right foot forward, left foot back. And again, foot turned in, but just slightly. And when you're ready, what we're going to do is we're going to bend that front knee. And we want the knee directly over the ankle, not in front and not behind, but directly over the ankle, turning the body. And then when you're ready, I want you to bring your index fingers together, interlace your other fingers and your thumbs, and inhale, come up into warrior one. And I'll see if I can go down low enough so you can see my hand. And again, I want you to take five deep breaths here. And this is quite a challenging pose for the body. It builds strength in the body, but it's also very, very good for regulating the endocrine system. One more deep breath. Inhale, reach up through your hands now and exhale, release that right arm forward and left arm back. Check that back down is in alignment because often it can end up all over the place. And then your gaze is over the middle finger of that right arm. Holding it here, five deep breaths. Now while you're here, I want you to tuck your tailbone under. And if you are sinking down into your hips, I want you to lift up and out of your hips. Strong from the heart. Building strength in the body. Beautiful. Inhale, reach out for your fingertips. And exhale now, interlace your fingers behind your back. And if you can, I want you to straighten that knee. If you need to keep it a little bit bent, do. We're going to inhale here, we're going to exhale, fold down over that leg, raising the arms as we go and holding it here for another three deep breaths. And then inhaling, coming all the way back up to center and swapping over to the other side. Starting with warrior one. Beautiful. Bending that knee so it's directly over the ankle. Taking your index fingers together, interlacing your fingers and your thumbs. And gently come into warrior one. Press down with your back heel, lift up, don't sink down, keep the top of the body rising towards the ceiling. One more deep breath here. Inhale, reach up through your hands and exhale, release them. Looking out over that left middle finger, and again, don't forget this back arm. Check it's in alignment. Your gaze is steady, nice and strong. Tuck your tailbone under. Lift up, don't sink down. Two more deep breaths here. Beautiful. Inhale, reach out through your arms and exhale now. Gently straighten that leg. Keep it slightly bent if that feels better for you. We're going to turn over that leg, interlace the fingers behind the back once more. Inhale, 
and exhale, fold down. To wherever you're comfortable, raise the arms. One more breath. And then inhale, come all the way back up. And exhale, just release it off. Keeping your feet just a little bit wide apart. We're going to finish with Cardi Shukrasana or helicopter pose. Working through every area of the torso. I want you to keep your arms nice and low. Turning the head to look over the shoulder as you come up. Raising the arms to shoulder height. Twisting through the middle spine. And then raising the arms up and over the head. So I'll come down to a kneeling position so you can see me do. Again, making sure you turn the head to look over the shoulder and then gently making your way all the way back down to centre. Beautiful. That is part one of our Yoga for Diabetes. It's quite dynamic but it would be appropriate for you to practice every day, uh, six days a week if you wish to, or less often if that feels better for your body. I'll be uploading part two soon. Hope you enjoy it. Namaste.